for the valve job, I uh, made this tool uh, to remove the valve seats. We'll go ahead and see if it will work. Um, pressing it down with the with this old uh, drill press and let's give it a shot. Okay, looks like it's working nicely. So far, if I could get this asshole out like that. Take the second one as well. Okay, that's your basic tool. Ha, huh. there's no seal here. Well, looks good. That looks good. These are the seals that came in the uh, gasket set, so I'm just going to put them here.
I'm not gonna put the valve uh, covers on yet. I think I need to adjust the valves. Um, have to do some research on that. I still don't have any service manuals or anything like that, but but it's way too excessive right now. It's like two millimeters of clay, so I don't think that's right. But yeah, closer and closer. Can't wait to get this thing started. But before I'm gonna redo this uh, alternator mount because this one is uh, at the wrong angle. The slots are at the wrong angle. I can't uh, adjust it. I have to tilt them up and uh, make them curved. So yeah. Also the bottom mount, maybe we'll redo that. We'll see how it goes. I would like to put the alternator on this side so it would be easy access on the trolley bus for maintenance, but uh, I don't think I can do that because uh, there's a water hose right here. I can't get any belts going from this side. And um, yeah, also I'm thinking maybe I should try the electric cooling fan on the radiator. Uh, so this, uh, this fan that's uh, on, on the water pump here, it's very powerful and uh, moves a lot of air, but it do it's also very noisy. So uh, maybe if I could uh, make a um, few uh, electric fans, like three or four of them, and uh, make them start uh, at a certain temperature, uh, maybe we could uh, reduce the sound uh, of this uh, system quite a bit. And uh, I don't know if it's going to cool enough. Uh, I don't have any fans or uh, electrical relays for that now. I still have to figure that out. But that's an idea I'm considering right now. These are the exhaust gaskets that came with the kit. But uh, they are not the uh, correct ones. The holes are too uh, wide apart, and this uh, this hole is totally different shape. So that's the original one. As you can see, the holes don't line up, and also the port hole doesn't line up. So for now, I'm gonna use the old ones. They weren't leaking. So I hope uh, they will work. I can change them out later if I need to. It's not a big job.
that's the new system for the small alternator so it uh, it's bolted down over here goes through some heavy metal which doesn't look very nice uh, to this uh, tube 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 shaft and it uh, tilts on uh, on this uh, this this shaft here and on the top here it's uh, very simple really only thing is uh, it's a little bit uh, far farther out than it was so uh, it might hit the hit the, hit the wall with this uh, part so we'll just have to see about that and uh, deal with it later <clears throat> Take exhaust.
truck bed is a little bit little bit broken as you can see it's cracking as we speak an eye on the motor. <laughs> 